Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the new Aventus in town. Creed has launched a teaser of the new limited edition fragrance Absolute Aventus. I was able to get my hands on a sample and I have gone through quite a bit of it and I'm ready today to sit down with you guys, tell you what I think about it. And at the end of the video, we're going to be doing a giveaway of five samples, so stay tuned for that. And I just wanna start off by saying about this that I have no idea what the official price is going to be when this launched. I have heard people, like I've been talking to sales associates about this for a while now, and I've heard some people saying the price is going to be like, Carmina, $440. I've heard some people say $540, and I saw it on Sensplit for like, $680 and it should be obvious, but I'm going to say it anyway. Please do not buy it for that price, please. Is that even legal? So the question is, is this really going to beat the King Aventus? There has been quite a bit of hype, a lot of talk, a lot of rumors about this one going around. People have been getting really excited for Absolute Aventus. I don't know what it is. Creed has been really gaining some momentum behind the releases lately. I can tell you guys in the air, it is really, really nice. You get that kind of Aventus-y DNA, but for me in the air, just in this first blast, I got a lot of that black currant. This fragrance is a heavy dose of grapefruit. In my opinion, it's more of, it's kind of, it's not replacing the pineapple. This fragrance, Absolute Aventus, does have that pineapple. They just really lowered the volume on the pineapple in Absolute Aventus and really bumped up the grapefruit and that black currant. And they have an addition of some spices in here. It has cinnamon, ginger, and cardamom. And in the base, they threw in some vetiver to kind of create that smoky effect that you're used to getting with Aventus, but it's not quite the same. Like it comes from the birch that you are used to smelling. And I did take a mental note that on the website, Creed was saying that they added these heavier, spicier notes in that vetiver to kind of, to really amp up the longevity. Like they very specifically said that it was done to increase the longevity. So I guess they're taking note in some of the customer complaints about Aventus. That's the number one complaint is that it doesn't really last very long or at least as long as people want. <laughs> when this opens, you guys, it is really good. It has everything that is so desirable and sexy and lovable about Aventus, but you do get like I said right away, that toned down pineapple, bumped up grapefruit and black currant. A lot of black currant comes through in this one. The way that the grapefruit is done, it's not like a very zesty, tart grapefruit. It is very juicy though, very, very juicy. It just, it feels like Absolute Aventus is really focusing on the citrusy aspects, mixing it with those smoky aspects from the base of this. This seems to have a different focus. Like this is the nighttime Aventus. It is really sexy. You guys might hate <laughs> for me to say this, but the fragrance is very sexy. It's Aventus. It's the king for a reason, right? And on the skin, the spices really come out much more. You get more of this kind of like pink pepper cardamom combo. It's very essential for Absolute Aventus. And there's another rumor going around that uh, this fragrance smells like Sauvage Elixir. <laughs> Um, I just did a side-by-side -side comparison, so look forward to my next video. We're going to be putting them head to head. Does Absolute Aventus really smell like Dior Sauvage? We're gonna find out in my next video. But very, very juicy grapefruit on the skin. And there is a lot more darkness compared to recent years of Aventus. It might be kind of reminiscent for some people, of like earlier batches. You know, I feel like nowadays in the recent years of Aventus, it's been more of a focus on the citruses and just being very fresh versus the older batches having a heavier dose of that birch and oak moss. Absolute Aventus is definitely more focused on that vetiver and the patchouli, which brings a darker side to this fragrance in the mid to the dry down. It's just darker, a little bit heavier, a little more weight to this fragrance than the OG Aventus. The scent just gets me every time. It is literally, sex appeal bottled in my opinion. And I feel like this new release is a very cool new twist on Aventus. A very earthy, dark, very sensual Aventus. And as a woman, just coming from my opinion as a woman, I think this is incredibly sexy to smell on a man, but so is Aventus. There's a reason that women, like it's, it's very easy when you are in the fragrance community or you're a collector to kind of like compare to things and just to kind of put your nose up to things. But the fact is, is that women 
love this stuff like women go absolutely crazy over Aventus it's been tried and true for over the last decade and this new absolute Aventus is no exception it is very sexy like take my opinion as a woman this is a very very sexy fragrance to smell on a man Aventus it's just it's what you wear to get girls that's it but it really all comes down to do you really need it so apparently from what I've been hearing this is a very limited release. Is it really worth the price? Anywhere from $440 to $860. If it was priced around the Carmina range, I could get behind it. But if it's any higher than that, I, I really, I don't know. I think that the only way that you really need to get Absolute Aventus is if you are a diehard Aventus fan, you are a fragrance collector, or you are a trust fund baby. <laughs> and if I had, you know, $550 just like burning a hole in my pocket, I would definitely run out and get a bottle of this. But the fact is, I am not a trust fund baby. I think that that's kind of the reason that Creed is saying that they're doing such a limited release on this is because it is for such a... I feel like it's just for a different type of buyer. It's not necessarily meant for the mass market. It is really truly meant for the Creed enthusiasts. It's like a fragrance that they released for their customers or you are a collector or you are a trust fund baby. I am an absolute stan, a fan, a stan of Aventus and absolute Aventus is very, very sexy. But in my opinion, I think that where it's priced, how limited of a release it's going to be, it's going to be for a very specific type of customer. We will see in the future what really happens. You know, maybe, I, like I said, I really have no idea what the price, what the official price is going to be. We won't know until it's launched and we just have to wait and see what happens. Hopefully that Creed will realize that this fragrance is an absolute banger and it needs to be out there in the main line and they will release it for good. Time will tell, we'll see what happens. But anyway guys, so I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I have five samples here of Absolute Aventus that I'm going to be giving away. Sorry, it is going to be US and Canada only this time around. So all you have to do to enter is like this video. Of course, be subscribed to my channel and to drop a comment below your thoughts about the new Absolute Aventus. Are you excited to try it? What do you think about it? And most importantly in your comment, you need to put your Instagram handle. That is how I reach out to the winner. So if you don't put your Instagram handle and you win in the drawing and I can't reach you, then I just have to move on to the next winner. So make sure to leave your Instagram handle and the winners will be announced in my community tab and on my Instagram page around mid-November. I will keep you guys updated in the future. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and good luck to everyone entering the giveaway. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.